just the feeling of being in a canoe with everything you need for a week or more, lake to lake, campsite to campsite. You never know where you're going to be. I just love immersing yourself in nature without having to think about, oh, at some point I have to sort of turn back and go back home. I loved sewing when I was in high school. I never saw it as that serious until I saw Martha Cole's work, and then I thought, oh my gosh, this can be really serious art. I liked working with soft fabrics versus a hard canvas. And then I just got much more interested in telling stories about what I find particularly interesting, which is always nature-based, and getting a lot more narrative with the artworks, more narrative about heading out and going on a journey. When I came to Northern Saskatchewan, we drive into Stanley Mission and we ski across the lake. I just thought, I'm gonna live there. And that had never happened to me before. That was the place I wanted to be. I just loved the bedrock so much and the trees and that was sort of because I grew up with that, I suppose. Being in the forest, it gives you a lot of energy because everything's growing and everything's changing. There's so much to see, but you're completely surrounded by it. I feel the same about lakes too, like you're completely surrounded by water and you can just be in it. You're not separate from it. I just like the sensuous quality of fabric that you're always touching something soft and pliable and once you sew it, it's got lots of ripples and bumps and textures. I just work up a composition by sketching it first and then collaging pieces of fabric into the places where I want the shapes and the colors. There's so many mixtures of colors within each fabric and so many textures within each fabric and you can go from, you know, the shiny reflective velours and satins to the flatter cottons. I guess I might see the fabric almost as a painted area, you know. If I was going to put brush strokes down to get the feeling that I want of this water or this forest or this particular tree, how would I want the brush strokes to look? And then I, maybe this fabric has that kind of texture that I would want and that kind of movement that the brushstroke would have. And then I have to decide where the lines can go. And that's like a free form sketch over top. Just down in front of it and take my finger and see where I want to do the lines. If I want it to feel still, I'm going to do a lot of very flat lines. And if I want it to feel very energetic, then I will make sure I have lots of energetic lines. And I have to think all those things through before I go. And then I'll just get in the machine and, and sort of go. I think that if you're not intimate with something, you can overlook it as not being important. And I'm very intimate with nature every day here. If someone sees my images who maybe hasn't been up here, they might start thinking, well, that's really special. And look at the unusual scenes and the plants and the rocks and the bedrock and the elemental aspects of this landscape. I do think it's important to bring those images to people.